My name is Alan and I'm a chaplain with the Royal Australian Air Force. For the past six months I've been here in the Middle East supporting Australian airmen and airwomen as they contribute to the coalition efforts to bring stability to this region and through that greater security to our world. Many of those airmen and airwomen are mums and dads who unfortunately will not be home for Christmas this year, although I know they would like to be. It's tough being away from home, missing the milestones and the achievements. And it's tough for you to go through it without mum and dad, or your partner and co-parent. But what we do here is important, but it only is important because of you. It's about making a difference in the world, making a better world in which to grow up, to grow old and to live. One of the things we're missing at this time of year is the end of school celebrations, the awards and the achievements of a year well done. This time last year, there was a poem doing the rounds on social media, celebrating those achievements that don't win awards. These are the things that we do each day, quiet achievements that go towards making us a better person, to growing into our potential and making a difference in the lives around us. I want to read that poem now for everyone who does not win an award this year, but who has made it through another year, who is growing into their potential and making a difference through their achievements, and to the parents, teachers and friends who helped them along the way. I see you. It's a time of badges, certificates, medals, trophies, recognition and the seeing of high achievement. I love seeing the kids that shine at this time of year. A big, high, heartfelt round of applause to you. You so deserve it for the effort you've put in. But this message is for the kids that didn't get called up for any of the above. I see you. To the child that conquered their fear of heights, or sleeping in the dark, or riding without training wheels, or sleeping out for the night for the first time this year. I see you. For the child that managed to resolve more conflict than they started this year. To the child that learnt to say the impossible, I'm sorry. And to the child that walked away from the fighting instead of getting involved. I see you. To the child for whom school is a huge struggle. Yet you get up every day and you go. I see you. To the child that battled all year with maths, or reading, or concentration, or speaking out in class, or learning their words, but persevered anyway. I see you. To the child that found the kindness in their heart to reach out in any way to another person, or to an animal, in need or in pain, I see you. To the child that learnt to give and to share for the first time this year, and even found joy in these, I see you. To the child that battles to make friends and to be social, you made new friends this year, and for that, I see you. For the child that wanted to be noticed, who wanted to please so much, but was just out of sight of an adult who was perhaps too busy or too distracted, I see you. To the child who lost a friend or loved one this year, but carried on every day bravely, even though their heart ached, I see you. To the brave parents that try every day to do the best for their kids, I see you. May you and your children revel in the small but significant victories that you've both experienced this year, as I will with my wonderful daughter. For every year there is progress and growth. We don't need a podium or handshake or a hall of applause to be seen. I see you.